and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you guys a weekly update on my very first week of taking metformin. So for those of you that don't know, I was recently diagnosed with polycystic ovarian syndrome, otherwise known as PCOS, and my fertility reproductive endocrinologist um, has me taking metformin to help with that. So I kind of wanted to just give you guys um, an update on how week one has been going and I want to do these every week for the first probably three or four weeks of taking metformin. Um, there's not a ton of videos out there on taking it for PCOS and if there are they're, they're very like drawn out 20 minute videos and I just wanted to do these quick weekly updates letting you know um, how it's going. For week one of taking metformin I have only been taking 500 milligrams. Um, as of yesterday, because uh, yesterday it was one week, I started taking 1,000 milligrams. So for week one, I only took 500 milligrams of metformin to ease my way into it, um, just so it's not a total shock to my body. So um, day one was really good. I was really nervous to take it just because, I don't know, so many people hyped it up and made me nervous and we're like, oh my gosh, this medication was horrible for me. And I just want everybody to know that you should take everyone's opinions with a grain of salt when it comes to starting new medications. They affect everybody differently and you won't know how they are going to affect you until you start taking them yourself. So I started taking it um, on a Saturday night. Um, I was fully expecting it to just literally blow up and make me feel horrible. I was fine um, Saturday through Sunday and then Monday. So I had taken three days worth of metformin. Um, and I've, I always take it at night right after I'm done eating dinner. And um, so three days in, I was hit with nausea, um, which is the first time that had happened. I was just laying in bed. It was almost time for me to like go to bed. And all of a sudden, I felt super, super nauseous. Um, I got kind of pale. Um, I did not feel good. And that lasted for maybe 30 minutes. And then it went away and I went to sleep. Woke up and I was fine. So, um, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday were fine. I think it was two days after the nausea. Uh, I was hit with a migraine. And I already suffer from migraines, so... When they're coming on, I know they're coming on, um, and I got hit with one pretty bad. Um, the nausea, tunnel vision, elevated heart rate, uh, heart palpitations, I couldn't get up. Um, so I don't know if that was a direct correlation with the metformin, but I did have a severe migraine during the first week of taking metformin. And then I have had small headaches in between the migraine. Uh, they've been unpleasant, but not impossible to live with. Number one thing you're all probably wondering what happens with metformin is the diarrhea and I am no exception to this case. I have had it all week long but I will say it hasn't been miserable for me. I kind of have like IBS so I'm kind of used to it as gross as that sounds and it hasn't been miserable. I don't know what else to say about that other than it's happening but it's it's livable, it's not that bad. It's weird, I go, I have on and off days, I've been fluctuating weight all week long, within like three pounds, it kind of, it's been shifting. Um, so I wouldn't say I've had any weight loss yet. Um, so I do think the weight loss is gonna pick up here, especially um, in the coming weeks, because I kind of mentioned in my last video that I'm changing my diet, and I'm doing so for good reason. I, I wanted to test the waters and I tried some like, carby foods this week and dairy to see how it worked with the metformin and it, I did have kind of bad reactions. I had a bagel one morning and oh my gosh it was horrible and I'm very sad about it because I love bagels with cream cheese. Um, I definitely won't ever be doing that again. So after I'm done filming this I'm actually going to like a natural grocery store and I'm going to the grocery shopping and what I'm doing over the next three weeks is eliminating three major food categories from my diet. Um, one being dairy, two being gluten, and three being processed sugars. Um, 
essentially I'm going to be living a paleo lifestyle um, for the remainder of my life but I also don't want it to be a miserable experience so I am cutting out those things week by week so this week for me I'm cutting out dairy um, next week is I'm going to be cutting out gluten and the week after that sugars added sugars refined sugars obviously fruit has sugar but you know what I mean the white sugar that tastes good on everything. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right when I'm done filming this. I'm heading to the grocery store and I'm gonna make a separate video on what I got at the grocery store for my paleo PCOS diet. So that's all I've got. My air conditioner is kicking on so I probably just got loud. <laughs> but um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Um, subscribe and stay tuned for Metformin week two and a grocery haul for my new diet. I mean, not diet lifestyle. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.